Okay, among all the boys that you know when you watch you watched our boys the men. I don't one. like uh, I don't <laughs> You don't like my movie? <laughs> wow, can see on TV. Uh. <laughs> Hi, my name is Natalie and I'm a wedding planner here at Under Singapore. Over the past year, it has become a challenge for many couples to plan out their dream weddings and many hotels have come up with safe and creative ways for them to celebrate these moments. Today, I will be going undercover to interview a couple whom I heard is getting married soon. They have been invited here for a wedding tech and I will be going behind the camera to find out how they are feeling about their planning process. Without further ado, let's go! Hello, I'm Josh and I'm the luckiest man in Singapore, Malaysia and some say JB and some say the world. Hi, I'm Zoan. Um, I am his Joshua's partner and we are going to get married soon. Yeah. yeah. Just don't know how soon. Faster, faster. <laughs> Can't wait. I'm dragging <laughs> Round one. So our first date was at Walla Walla. At Holland V, am I right? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Very daddy like. Daddy. 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 So, what's your first impression of me? Xiao Mei Mei. <laughs> because she was very young. So, okay, so Xiao Mei Mei, for those who don't understand, um, is like a little sister. Because she is seven years younger than me, even though you can't tell, right? Because I look beautiful. <laughs> wow. Can say on TV. Uh. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> of course, we spend quality time together. Okay, la, we really enjoy cooking together. Um, no, I enjoy eating. He <laughs> enjoys cooking. She enjoys making me wash the dishes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. She surprised me, she totally blindsided me. So she made me sit in the passenger seat and blindfolded me. I'm like, wow. I'm so young, you know, I'm not ready to die yet. You okay. don't trust me. I didn't trust you back then, but now I trust you because we're getting married. I spent a lot of time trying to talk to the person and everything. And then that's why I left him in the car, blindfolded. Alone. And then he was so scared. So I came back, he was like, where were you? How can you just blindfold me like that? But I mean, it's part of the surprise, right? They Actually, think about it. I had so much trust in you. I allowed you to blindfold me for and 10 minutes. And kidnapped you, right? Yeah. Round two. Our original plan, I would say, maybe last year, was to actually have two weddings. One was in Australia, um, because I am from Melbourne, she's from Sydney. So we thought it'd be quite poetic to have one over there and one in Singapore. But COVID! Ah! <laughs> I don't like trends, so... Because your husband to okay, me is enough. timeless. <laughs> Yes, I'm a classic. That's why it makes I like vintage. Sense. No, no, no. Classic. Don't say vintage. Vintage is dusty. Antique. It's dusty also. Don't, no, don't. Antique. Classic. It's quite stressful to be honest, like planning our wedding. But there's also so many considerations like the maximum capacity rule, this and that. And also the mask. Needing to wear the mask for like yeah. the wedding. I think that's a bit of a bummer. Like we also are uh, hopeful that by the time we get married, like, we can have a masterless wedding. So, I mean, hearing all the difficulties that you have faced so far, um, I would actually like to offer you some advice because, surprise, I'm not part of the production crew. I'm actually the wedding planner here at Anda Singapore. So, I'm happy to give you some tips as to how to go about with planning your wedding during this season. Oh! So, so you're giving us the wedding here for free, is it? So for Andas, we have to uh, follow the existing guidelines uh, that have been set in place. So for example, things like moving from 50 to 100, we had to figure out how we were going to configure the ballroom such that we could do two separate zones. For virtual weddings at Andas, I mean, we do have our AV partner in Andas and they actually have a virtual platform for these virtual weddings. They offer the live streaming service, so there will be a camera that will be videoing your wedding. Um, it could be your solemnization or your speeches during the event itself. Your guests can actually log on to the platform that they have already um, created. Um, there's like a virtual guest book on this platform. So your 
guests can actually you know, write a note to you guys instead of having the physical guest book. Um, your guests can also just log in and view the event um, live. I was going to say, yeah, uh, be yeah. perfect for my relatives in uh, Melbourne. So currently, the tea ceremony can only be done within the wedding party that is a maximum of 20 people. Oh. So usually that's not enough for um, most relatives or most extended families. One of our couples recently, they did a distanced tea ceremony. The couple is not able to physically offer the tea to the relatives who are not part of the wedding parties. Our service helped them and you know, just passed the tea to the relatives at their table, whereas the couple was on stage to say the nice mm. <laughs> greetings to them. But yeah. like for, for their own parents, for example, like um, for me, I would serve Zoan's parents together. Lah. But will we still be able to serve them directly? Yes, so um, because most of the time the couple's immediate family or at least the immediate parents are part of the 20 the party. Pets ah, okay, wedding okay. party. So as long as they are within that wedding party, I mean it's fine to serve the tea to them directly. Alright, thanks Nati so much yeah. for sharing with us. Like, ah, but planning a wedding is like... You plan ah? I plan. You, you plan, you the boss. You the boss, big boss. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, so for all the couples out there, uh, we feel you, but don't worry, your dream wedding can still come true. So stay safe and God bless. <laughs>